Hey everyone, today I've got my Ma Rainey's Black Bottom movie review. Based on the stage play by August Wilson, is this the feel-good movie to watch to end this crazy year on a high note? So as far as the story goes, George C. Wolf directs this movie that you can watch right now on Netflix, and it's about a blues band and a lead singer clashing in a recording studio during the 1920s. Now, I was interested in watching it not only because it's yet another August Wilson adaptation like Fences, and of course Denzel Washington is the producer on this movie where his former co-star is in this as well. But it was a story that I was unfamiliar with, but one that captivated me from the very first trailer that came out. And even though it didn't show all that this movie had to offer, I knew I was still in quite a few more surprises along the way. Now, while there are a few dialogue heavy moments that seem to drag on a bit and is delivered just like the stage play, it is very fascinating to hear about the lives of the people in this movie that this movie is about and especially during this time period, and it flows just like the notes of music being played in a recording studio. Now, as far as the casting goes, Viola Davis as Gertrude Ma Rainey without a doubt embodied this role with a performance that I believe is one of her best to date. Whether she can sing or dance, it was definitely believable. and. Can I just also add that she was a badass at times and I might actually consider her to be my spirit animal. I mean, she actually looked just like the real Ma Rainey. I mean, it was just so impressive to see how she was literally delving into this role as well as Chadwick Boseman. And I'm literally gonna not try to cry to talk about him because I know it's been a while, but he gives probably the best final tour de force performance and there are several times when he delivers his lines and it's just so powerful and, and passionate and you really hang on to every last word that he says and it's just it is so good and it's just so a shame that he's gone and what he gave us in in the film community i just think it's just so worth it to see here and all i have to say is he better win that oscar because he was just so amazing to see uh you know what he brought to this role and uh, i definitely am going to miss him just so much <laughs> and Anyone else in this movie I felt like really added to the supporting cast as well. So the things that I liked about this movie was that the details of the set design and the costume design were just so spot on and you really feel like you're transported to this place and the music was lovely to listen to and just hits you in the soul like right like in the right places and I feel like that makes this movie 10 times more entertaining to watch and there are comedic moments that you know don't go over the top but it makes you feel like you know you love these characters even more because they bring something a little bit extra and I also feel like there are several events that unfold that are still that are both shocking and surprising and it adds a bit of appeal to this time period where you thought You've literally seen it all. Like, you know everything there is to know about the 20s. Um, but then it gets really intense and it just takes your breath away. I really think this is definitely one of my favorite movies of the year. So overall, I would say that this movie was just so amazing. It was unexpected and I just really enjoyed myself watching it. And I definitely learned a lot about 
the real Ma Rainey. So I would highly recommend seeing this movie and I would give this four and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys later.